What's up guys? I'm Rivers Ford, your host, and you're watching Cigar Psalm TV. Today we're getting into the La Relatos by Kyle Gellis from Warp Cigars. Uh, he says this is his first blend. Uh, let's see how he used to do it back in the day. So it looks like it's got invisible seams. Not too tightly packed or anything. It's a little bit softer at the head, but hey, it's all natural product. Looks about like a six by 40. Pretty nice band to it. You guys can see that. All right, let's get it toasted up and go. All right, on the first draw, there's a little bit of a nuttiness to it. Uh, there's a slight sweet cedar, a little bit of white pepper spice. Um, all those are kind of in the medium bodied range, uh, medium flavor. Um, of course, you can't detect any strength right now. The draw seems perfect on it. A little bit more resistance than I actually like. Uh, but other than that, everything seems uh, to be perfect. I will let this heat up. We'll get into the first third and we'll see where it goes. All right, guys, we're about five minutes in, only about a quarter inch in, but the vanilla is just going off the charts right now. The nuttiness, the creaminess, the sweetness of the cedar, all that is still there. We also have a slight uh, milk chocolate coming in to play. It is really exploding right here. Let's continue going and see what it ends up like in the final of the first third. All right, guys, about 25 minutes in, we're wrapping up the first third of this La Relatos from Warp Cigars. Um, a lot of addition to flavor here. There's more of a coffee coming in. All the other notes are still there with the sweet cedar, the chocolate notes, the uh, the, the uh, creaminess, the vanilla, all that's still there. Uh, there's some rye spice, some barley notes coming in there. Some of those bourbon-esque, some of those uh, scotch-esque flavors are coming in. Uh, for me, what I would do, I would pair this first third with a Pinot Noir from the Oregon region, um, more of a earthy Pinot Noir that would offset all of those woody notes. It'd give you a lot more of the richness, the sweetness from it. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the second third of this La Relatos and we'll see what happens there. All right, I'm wrapping up the second third of the La Relatos. It is getting very rich. It's getting definitely more oily. The finish is lasting a whole lot longer. Uh, the burn has been perfect. I haven't touched it up one time. The ash is still dropping in about one inch increments, of course, with a ring gauge like this, kind of to be expected. Um, the chocolate is amping up. The coffee notes are amping up. The spice is completely gone. Uh, so that Pinot Noir really wouldn't work with the second, third, at all there's too many uh it's, it's too tannic it's too acidic for this third it would just overpower this um we would need something a lot more rich uh so in my head i'm going back to about a 15 to 10 to 15 year old uh tawny port is what i would go with graham's is a great choice uh, it has a lot of those dark rich plum chocolate vanilla notes a lot like this so instead of trying to contrast those two to get something better, this is just gonna build upon the flavors that are actually there. That'll give you a good contrast between the first and the second, third. Uh, let's go ahead and keep working on this. Um, and before I forget, the smoke output is great. The draw is great. I noted the burn earlier 
and the flavors are just amazing. So let's get into the final third and see what happens. All right, guys, hour and 21 minutes in. Uh, it's getting a little bit warm, a little bit hot right now. Uh, it's starting to get a little bit bitter. About an inch left to go. Um, in the final third, uh, it is getting more of a cinnamon. The vanillas are coming uh, up like they were in the first third. Uh, the chocolate is still there slightly. The cocoa or the, um, the coffee is getting a little bit more of a, a darker, richer, bitter. Coffee is still a phenomenal cigar. Um, cinnamons are popping up. It's really reminding me of a younger bourbon at a little bit of a higher uh, ABV. Um, I would pair this with something. That's a little bit stronger, something like a Wild Turkey 101 or something along the same mash bill as that. Uh, that would pair very well with this cigar. I still have not touched this up one time in an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, I guess that's to be expected out of something about a 38 to a 40 grain gauge like this La Rolados. Uh, phenomenal cigar. Um, box purchase, uh, they come in a 50 count box, which is a little steep. I definitely recommend getting a five pack of these. They will definitely age phenomenally. Um, if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, knowing I put out more content and I appreciate it. Thank you.